Hello, I'm Atuba Jones. Now, today is Friday. Praise God. And, and, and listen, I, I, I hope you've been enjoying yourself in this whole season and more especially. Listen, don't just eat at your home and be satisfied. Get out something for someone else. Look for someone in need and, and minister to them. Praise God. Tell them the reason for the season. That's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you. And don't just tell them with words. Demonstrate kindness to them. Because Jesus is kind. Praise God. And remember, God is love. And he came to manifest who God is to us. So I've been sharing all week on why did Jesus come. And, and from day one, I told you, he came to reveal the Father to us. Then day two, I told you, he came to take out sin and, and its consequences. Then day three, Christmas day, I shared, he came to give us life. And yesterday, I told you, he came to restore the kingdom back to the Father. Praise God. Now today I'm going to be sharing with you the fifth reason Jesus came and that's very important. He came to set an example for us. Praise God. Now that's to tell you that everything Jesus did on earth, we can do it. You know, he himself said, he that believes in me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than this shall he do because I go to my father. See, so meaning i came to set the example for you so what you see me do you can do also and notice that the works i do you will do also now the works doesn't only mean healing the sick casting out them you know many times i don't say the works he did that's all we think because we want to display power we want to show that we are strong hey part of the works that jesus did was to believe in the father you remember someone asked Jesus one time, he said, what must we do that we will walk the works of God? What did Jesus say? This is the works of God, that you believe on him whom God has sent. See, so the same way Jesus believed in the Father, that was his works. Now that's what produced all the miracles. That's what produced everything that Jesus did. He was simply believing and obeying his Father. So he sees somebody, father says, that guy is not supposed to be like, I didn't create that guy like that. Can you heal him? Thank you, sir. I'll heal him. And then he goes and he heals him. But you just see the power. You didn't see the obedience. So the work, doing the works of Jesus is obeying everything he said. That's why he came as an example. Praise God. And Hebrews 12, let me read Hebrews 12, verse 2. He says, looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith. So we set our gaze on Jesus. And what's, what, what's going on? We see the beginning and we see the end of our faith. Now, what does that mean? It, it means in Jesus, I see what I can do and I see the limits of my life. Praise God. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that Jesus is still alive till this day? Have you thought about it? Do you know Jesus can actually walk into your room bodily? I said, Jesus? Yes. Welcome. I came from heaven. No, let me touch you. Yes, as in he can act. You know why? Because he is alive. Let me shock you. Do you know Elijah can just walk into your room too? Why? Because he is alive. He is not dead. He didn't die. Praise <laughs> God. True, true. Let me shock you some more. Do you know Abraham can do the same thing? Now, why am I saying, saying all this to you? Say, Abraham, Abraham died. No, no, no. Remember, in the book of Matthew chapter 27, when Jesus rose from the dead, the Bible says, the, the saints, the saints, the saints resurrected with him. And they went into the city and people saw them. Now, they didn't die again. They went with Jesus to heaven. Praise God. So, so think about it. Listen. Heaven has people living inside, living people, not dead people. Now, I was just sharing it with you the other day. Praise God. So, all these things we see in Jesus, remember, he's the author and finisher of our faith. Since he didn't die, why should we die? These are the things we should begin to think about. These are the things we should begin to raise, stir up our minds, stir up our faith for. Are you getting what I'm saying? These are the questions we should begin to ask. Ask who? Ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, why did Jesus say this? That's what we should be doing. And that's what produces faith. And that's what produces growth. You grow when you ask the right questions. Now, asking that kind of a question to the Holy Spirit is the right question. 
Holy Spirit, why did Jesus say he that believes in me? He will not see death. How come Jesus, you know, sometimes you're sick in your body or something is just troubling you. You go before the Lord, say, Holy Spirit, I don't get it. This is what Jesus said. Why am I experiencing this? Now, when you ask like that, you open up your heart to, for him to teach you. Now, when his word begins to come to you, what happens? He will make you well. He will make you strong. He will sort out that thing that is wrong that you're asking him about. And then secondly, you will grow in knowledge. But many times we just want things to change, but we don't want the knowledge. But getting that knowledge takes patience, it takes fellowship. See, that's why last week I was sharing with you, building yourself up on your most holy faith. It's a work you do by yourself. And when you do it, you grow. And when you grow, things change. Praise God. So, following Jesus' example is what God expects us to do today. So, Jesus lived above sin then we should live above sin. So we see Jesus, see? That's why the Bible says in Hebrews 2, it says, we, we don't see all things under our feet yet. You know, he says, he will put on all things under our feet. But it's not so physically now. But what do we see? We see Jesus. Praise God. The more we gaze at Jesus, the more we realize what we, who we are and what we can do. So we must gaze on him. Set your gaze on Jesus and nothing. Don't, don't let a man of God be your standard. I'm telling you the truth. Don't let anybody be your standard. Let Jesus be your standard because he is the author and finisher of your faith. And he's there as an example. He, he didn't just come to take away sin. He also came to show us how to live free from sin. He also came to show us how to live free from sickness, free from poverty. You know, Jesus needed money. He told Peter, go to the river. Take your, take your hook. The first fish you catch, you will see money in the mouth. Now, that's how Jesus did. That's an example for. What does that tell me? I should never be broke or stranded anywhere. How did Jesus do that? The Holy Spirit told him what to do. How am I going to do it today? The Holy Spirit will tell me what to do. That's an example for me. So I am stranded financially. I think of the example of Jesus. A miracle happened to Jesus. So a miracle can happen to me. Holy Spirit. So what do I do now? Praise God. God, I've got to stop here. Listen, the kingdom of God is here and the spirit of God is already working in you. When you submit to him, I'll tell you one thing, he will build the life of Jesus in you strong. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, have the best weekend ever and miracles are still happening in your life even as the year rounds up. Praise God. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.